We're back, people, and today we're breaking a film on Hayden Rucci, Wisconsin tight end. Uh, Dolphins signed him as a UDFA. He's def definitely a, a blocking type. That's kind of where, you know, you're going to, you know, see him potentially try to make a roster with, with his blocking skills as a tight end three. Overall, I do like, I think, his versatility as a blocker. You know, being as an inline guy can be a little bit off-ball uh, H-back type block on the move. Plays with a good temperament in the running game shows off some decent play strength overall blocking technique it's all solid i think you know he's not the most athletic guy which i think you know hurts him and that definitely i think hurt his production as a receiver like he had very little production at the college level in the receiving game and i think you know uh he's not the best route runner not the most athletic i don't really see him making this roster i like it'd be a very very tough battle for him so to me I think there's some practice squad potential, but I'm not like overly keen on it. I think that uh, part of the game, the the receiving part, definitely uh, is a huge problem for him. And then I think the blocking isn't like high end enough to where I see him. You know, uh, I just see him as like a, a decent blocker at the next level. To me, they're like he would have to somehow beat out Julian Hill, and then he'd also have to beat out Fortson. And to me, I don't really see um, those things happening personally because Hill is the type that he would have to beat out just like similar types of blockers but to me hill is just like the more athletic version and is even a better like nastier temperament blocker but they could keep him around as you know a guy in the practice squad because he does do some things pretty well here you know they're running some toss basically an outside zone concept and he does a good job when he has to work out laterally uh get out in space good footwork here good job playing with some bend good base uh gets engaged and just sticks with it and is able to sustain with his hands inside the chest of that secondary level defender and then i like the finish too like once the guy is able to work back across his face right there which is late to it he's able to uh finish the guy's trying to like because the running back fumbles and this guy's going for it and he's able to just keep going finish that block to the ground so I like that temperament stuff which is good uh for his game but i do think you know we're getting towards the end of these udfa film breakdowns some of these guys i do think are kind of uh on the outside but have a very very tough chance of sticking around they, but, but I mean, all the UDFAs definitely have a chance for the practice squad. They definitely can show themselves in. Uh, it depends also. Sometimes they stand out too much, but then still don't make the roster. And then they end up going, you know, to other places. But I don't think, you know, there's potential here for a practice squad. I do like the blocking stuff that he's able to do. And here on the move, like, motioning in from pretty far out wide. And then able to, they snap it pretty early. This is something you have to be able to do in Miami. This is actually pretty uh, Durham Smythe-esque of him. Because the Dolphins do this stuff with Durham Smythe motioning in and he just makes a nice angle adjustment he sees how this guy's really flattening down here and so he flattens his angle boom is able to square him up uh his running back's able to get that cut to the outside now get a one-on-one -on -one in space and then once the guy tries to cross his face again he just finishes drives good leg drive good finish uh love these type of blocking attempts so you could do it you know a line pretty tight to the line of scrimmage uh get out there in space but still make it work or just motion him across which is nice to see uh that's a uh, definitely the best part of his game is those types of blocking and he just sticks with it he's able to make good adjustments on the fly here you know he is working some like mid zone on the back side of this uh get your head across number 90 good job staying lateral being in a decent spot here now 90 is able to you know this is a defensive end hard to block defensive ends one-on-one -on -one. this guy's now able to you know separate and get back across but Ruchi makes a nice adjustment here once he's out of position to boom get his hips across head back there and then get uh his positioning back and then get control of that situation so it could have been done more cleanly but i do like to see the fight and recovery ability to get back into space because you know he's not the best athlete for a tight end but you got to think when you're going against like a bigger body like defensive ends or d tackles you're going to have an athletic advantage on him i just don't think he has the athleticism to go out and like run great routes out in space and beat uh you know dbs or linebackers but enough there to at least cut off and get back to the uh back to his uh leverage and positioning that he needed for his running back there and then a good job just also climbing up to this level at the db down in the red zone i uh, just square him up getting his job done sometimes you know it's nice to see him finish and have that nice temperament but also a lot of times in the running game you don't always just need to be moving people and destroying everyone sometimes it's about just getting your body on top of people and just being in the right spot uh, there's different ways to win as blockers, and I think Rucci does a decent enough job there in that scenario. 
Here he is working laterally again on the backside of a run. He does a good job just squaring up, sustaining. Like, he's not able to, like, completely win when, like, you know, whether he's trying to cut him off or drive him down the line of scrimmage for a cutback lane. He just basically squares him up and sustains and now gives his running back a chance to work off of him, which he does. And now he gets a one-on-one -on -one with a with a corner, so he's able to work out into space there. But, yeah, Rucci does his job. Lots of nice things to like when it comes to the blocking. I just don't think, like... To me, for him to make the roster just as a pure blocker, he would have had to been like an elite high end blocker. And I just saw someone on tape who was like pretty solid, or like it, going to the next level, they would be like a solid blocker. For a college tight end, he's a pretty good blocker, but going to the next level, I would just see him being like pretty solid. Obviously, he could develop and become even better overall, but I just kind of see him uh, at most a practice squad guy personally. Uh, very little. I think he only had like 17 catches in his college career, and most of them came in this final season. Uh, and really, he's pretty good at finding the soft spots versus zone. This is like a third and five, third and six. And he gets right past the six. Ball is low and away, and he makes a tough catch right past it. So he understands, like, he has, like, situational awareness. He knows where to be in the right spot, and he'll make some tough catches. But he's not a guy who's going to, you know, beat man-to-man, -man, get get open a ton. Uh, I think, you know, he you definitely see the limited athleticism on his tape. But the blocking is really where you're going to see the right stuff. Love him at going to second level here against a linebacker, staying patient, staying square. He, I think, you know, he doesn't take the best angle. The guy gets down pretty quickly, but he really just attacks low. I love the leverage here. Now, attack that low hip and drive that guy out of the play, and then you finish him. When you're that low and you're attacking that position, that spot of the guy, that is very easy for them to move. And it gives your running back basically a one-on-one -on -one in, in, the, in the hole with a defensive back. Like, Rucci does his job, uh, and they almost, you know, finish for the touchdown. But Rucci doing uh, different types of blocks, different types of techniques, being in different types of situations and different, you know, run concepts, whatever it is, you know, the inside zone, outside zone stuff. But he definitely feels comfortable. Here he is, you know, attached in line. They have, you know, jumbo formation, a bunch of tight ends in in this game. And he's on, you know, the solo side. Another great job just using their own momentum against them. He fires off the ball, attack the low hip. He does a great job with his leverage. Like he's so low here. Look at this pad level. Attack that low hip and look at him just drive this defensive end multiple yards down the line of scrimmage because i don't think he was like when he's straight up base blocking tied or defensive ends he's not creating a ton of movement i don't think he's like amazing play strength but like when he is attacking that low hip getting on the side of them like these types of uh you know uh run concepts where he gets those combos or he's you know attacking the, the low hip drive the person down the line of scrimmage laterally rucci is able to create some displacement here that's a lot of displacement uh, look at like this whole jumble of players here that, that Rucci's able to get. And, you know, Rucci's like right here, a few yards away from this hash. And he ends this play still blocking his guy, but all the way on the other side uh, of, of the of the line of scrimmage, which is very, very impressive. And then here's probably the best receiving play I could find. I really, there wasn't much on the all 22. And it was him just selling like he's going to block. So him selling the block gets this guy to, you know, fall for that fake. So you can use him here. But he's not going to like explode past you. But he'll, you know, work the seam there, make a nice adjustment on a ball thrown behind him, uh, which is nice. You want to see guys be able to adjust. So there is some things here to work with. It's just I don't have great confidence in it overall as a, as a prospect. I don't really see him making the roster, but he could prove me wrong. I'm, I want to see these UDFAs play within the preseason, and then uh, we'll see how it all plays out. And I think all of them have potential to make the practice squad. Because there's so many factors that end up playing into it. Sometimes the guys that you really want to stick around in your practice squad end up even getting poached. So you keep around guys that you think you can develop and get better. Uh, I think no matter what position you play. I think some of these guys don't really have a chance to make the roster just based on the position. Like there, It'd be really, really difficult for them. Like Jaquan, Jaquan Burden, the guy from FAU, the receiver. I don't see how he can make the roster. But if he stands out enough, they could, you know, and like in the meetings, they could ear very easily try to keep him on the practice squad, uh, which, you know, that sticks you around and maybe gives you a chance down the line if you truly develop the those things can happen. They're just very, very rare. So if you guys are the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.